literally my hands have been covered in mac and cheese. Salty dog, oh my god. There you go. Well, he has this little rash all over his belly. vacation. Hair is looking wild. And this car, I swear, has never been more full than this ever. Like, it's at capacity. We could not fit a single other thing in here. But we have, um, a oh while, wow, like three and a half hours left of the drive. We just grabbed some Wendy's breakfast. Don't sleep on Wendy's breakfast if you've never had it. It's really, really good. I think this guy is going to pass out pretty soon. And then, I'm probably gonna pass out. <laughs> I got up at like five to get some stuff done. We're so excited. And yes, he's almost a year old and I'm still sitting in the back with him. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we are like barely into South Carolina. <laughs> And we stopped to get donuts and change a diaper. But this place was pretty cool. They had a pretty cool selection of donuts. We got, um, you can like fill a donut with whatever you want. So we just got kind of like a Boston cream one, but we did chocolate filling. And then it's a glazed red velvet, which has my name written all over it. I'm going to nurse Cole before we get back on the road. But while Ken changes his diaper, I'm gonna help myself to red velvet donut. Wow, this looks so good. Mm. <laughs> this is literally the only thing keeping him from losing his whole entire mind. cheese as a car snack <laughs> yeah we're hungry aren't we yeah it's like two o'clock and we have not stopped to have a lunch yet we just got onto the island just now i didn't get any footage because literally my hands have been covered in mac and cheese he's not happy unless he has mac and cheese literally in his mouth at all times so i'm trying to keep him happy and fed because normally all of us would have eaten by now but we are about to be at lunch oh my gosh still not 15 minutes oh my gosh we're so hungry. And it's been really rainy, so it's cleared up now, but hopefully um, it holds off so we can do, you know, some outdoor things. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. 
That's funny. It's literally pouring. <laughs> he is soaking wet. Kind of so <laughs> what do you think, bud? <laughs> This whole entire time. What I love about it here is like everything is just cute. Like even just like the Publix has like palm trees and cute little awnings. Like the shopping centers are even adorable here. What do you think? Where's that, Dad? Where's that, Dad? Where is he? His hair is getting so curly because of all the humidity. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all that curl. Hi! <laughs> Alright, I figured before we completely trash the place, I'll do a really quick little Airbnb tour. There's a cute baby. <laughs> um, over here is where you walk in. It's like a little condo and it's gated, which is really nice. We had to like go through a whole process to even get the car in here. But it's got this cute little kitchen. Yeah. And then there's actually washer and dryer in here, which I already put my shoes on. But it's very cutely decorated, and I love that we can have the option to do laundry if we need to. And then here's like the main living area. So cute and cozy. I love this little like a coffee nook. <laughs> I'm like recording and I just see your hand come in with alcohol. <laughs> this is also a really cute little sign here. Coley, do you want to lead the toa? But I think this little coffee nook is so cute. And then this is like the little living room. I feel like this TV is ginormous. It's so cute and like cozy. I think it's also because it's like rainy. It feels like extra cozy in here. <laughs> Are you about to get into everything? Little dining table and there's a little balcony too, which is cute. And there's beach chairs and tables. And I like this view. It's so cozy, right? Like very much looks like a beach town out there. I feel like okay. You're gonna refold all the shirts for me. Okay. Thanks <laughs> And then right here is the master. I love just like beach house vibes Like if we ever had a beach house, I feel like decorating it would be so much fun because I love the whole decor of Beach houses so much and I love this color you know all of this just feels like very relaxing in here So pretty simple and then this is the bathroom You want to go show them your room? Come on. Come with me. We'll show them your room this way Come over this way <laughs> And then over here, there's another closet. This is like the main Bathroom this room. I think is so cute. This is where Cole's gonna go I think the pack and play should fit really well over there But this is actually perfect for us because there's only one window So it's like less light to have to block out for him, which is perfect But I love the like color scheme of this place. It's very cute and like just very relaxing oh, Good thing that's locked. Oh <laughs> 
<laughs> Jinx. Right, absolutely yeah, I was telling Ken this is really unfortunate. Oh my gosh, you're soaked. We need like everything from the car and he had to take like so many trips. This is on the second floor. So my hair is so ruined. I'm glad I didn't like spend any time doing my hair because we have spent so much time in the rain. Cole's hair is soaked and curly. My hair is soaked and like completely ruined. We have so much stuff in the car. Like I showed you, like our car has never been this full ever. And we need like all of it. Like it's just our suitcases and food and stuff for coal and like we just need literally everything besides like the beach bag we need everything out of the car and this is the second floor so it's going to take a lot more trips than normal especially because we can't both do it like someone has to stay in here with coal so it's like a one-man show trying to unload the car with a ton of stuff and in the pouring rain yeah i'm glad that they locked this it's almost like they knew you were coming and they said no 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 but your dad's gonna set up your Sleep situation. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All right. How you doing? I'll do a quick little um, salty dog haul while Ken sets up Cole's sleep situation. Ken got the light blue comfort colors with the pocket. I like this color on him too. It's like a different color than. He has, like he doesn't have anything like that. So I like that color for him. And then I got two different options because I could not decide. Whoa, Coley, good job, buddy. So I really liked this like watermelon color. So I got this one in the t-shirt. These are all comfort colors too, which Ken like didn't know what comfort colors were because they had like a bunch of different brands and I was like, no, like get the comfort colors once. Even they're like a little bit more expensive. I feel like they're like just better quality and they're so much softer. So I got the watermelon one with the no pocket and just the design on the back. And then I just like love these kind of like oversized t-shirts just for like literally all year round, like lounging, bike shorts, sweatpants, all the things. But then I also really liked this green color, really pretty. And this one has the pocket. This one is the long sleeve. So I got long sleeve with a pocket and then the short sleeve with no pocket. And I got size larges for mine so that they would be like nice and big and like super oversized. Pretty much all the comfort colors that I own I have in larges just because it's like extra, extra comfy. And Cole is making a nice little mess. And then we got a bunch of stickers they threw in here and then also this little tote bag they gave me for free, which is cute. So that's our little salty dog haul. We obviously also, well, I don't know if it's obvious, but we ate there as well. And it was really good. The pimento cheese was literal chef's kiss. <laughs> Go late. Doesn't take much to entertain the kid. <laughs> this is the um, selections that we chose. I'm really excited to try that. And then I saw this pineapple coconut, which those are like my two favorite flavors, especially together. And it just feels very like beachy and vacation-y. <laughs> There's a lot of a uh, fetch going on with the toys right now. <laughs> Cole's like on the move. He's got all his toys set up over here as well. Coley, come back over here. Come on, Cole. Come on, come here. Come here. You can bring your toy. Oh. Oh. Can Dad have it? Can Dad have the toy? Please. And dad, dad, oh, 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 yes, yay, yay, dad, dad's got it, dad, dad's gonna play with it. <laughs> Look at him crawling so well, you finally mastered it, Coley, dad, good dad, job. I did, I did. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Dad went to get dinner. We could not decide what we wanted. I literally planned this whole entire vacation and I couldn't decide on dinner. So while we wait for him to go get takeout, we're gonna have some veggie straws. Yeah, picnic style. <laughs> there you go. Um, and I just cracked into one of these. This is like the, you know, Sprite kind of one, the citrus lime. So good. Like probably one of my favorite like seltzer type drinks I've ever had. Like, I'm kind of obsessed with this. It's so good. There you go. <laughs> Are you gonna eat it? Why'd you have to throw it first? Cole? Eat it, silly. <laughs> Where are you going? 
Oh, does that look cool? Does that look fun? Y'all, he is so overtired right now. He slept like, between his two naps, he slept like one hour. Are you tired? Are you tired, baby? Okay, bye. We decided finally on curly bacon cheese fries and white pizza with bacon. Oh, and Ken opened this one. This is also really good. So this is like new favorites. Sponsored by Budweiser. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. No All right, wish us luck. Usually he's not a big fan of the pack and play, but he is so tired that I think we might have to take the morning. It's the next day. Look at this a janky setup I have to do my makeup. I literally have my mirror like propped up on Cole's booster seat. <laughs> Ken's out on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. This is a pretty view. Yeah. I like it out here. A little humid? <laughs> we're going for an early morning walk. This is kind of like the area where we're staying. There's just so many. Beautiful trees everywhere. You can see how humid it is. <laughs> Alright, you ready, buddy? He still looks like he's not even awake yet. <laughs> Alright. It is so humid outside here. Like I literally feel like I took a shower. My hair is like so gross and yeah, it's a little humid out. We're having some breakfast. Dad's getting us breakfast and donuts. Is he eating his donuts? He is? Yeah, he's gonna get a donut. Yeah. That's a stuffy donut, Dad. We just noticed Coley has this little rash all over his belly. It's not really little. There was like a couple spots last night and now this morning, it's kind of everywhere. They're not like raised or anything and he doesn't seem bothered by them. Like everything I was looking up said, are they itchy? And he does not seem to be bothered by them. His fever is gone. Oh. So wow, we're trying to get to the bottom of that. Look at that big Buddha belly. Like look at the girth on this guy. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, there goes your cop, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no.
going to dinner and to like walk around some of like kind of like a little plaza shopping area so here's the fit kind of like comfy <laughs> cold is a little unhappy um kind of like comfy but also kind of like cute and beachy i have my hair in like one big french braid with like a little bun but all right someone out here is not happy go like <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> That place is pretty good. It's like a burger sushi place, but they had some cool appetizers and um we got like a specialty uh, sushi roll. The only problem was I got the mac and cheese bites and Cole ate basically all of them. I think I had like one and a half or maybe two. And I think there was like six. Oh my goodness. What do you think, boy?
got a giggle monster on our hands. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday. It's our last full day. Here, we're still staying tonight, but today's like our last full day. I'm looking <laughs> like a mess. My hair is still like back from when we went to the beach, but um, I got up at like 5.30 with Cole, again, per usual. <laughs> so it is very early in the morning right now, but I feel like I didn't really talk to the camera like at all yesterday. Like I showed obviously what we were doing, but I feel like I didn't actually <laughs> vlog much. And it was a really great day. The weather actually held out. Thankfully it was like supposed to rain, but it didn't. So the beach was so nice. Like it wasn't hot or sweaty. Like it's very humid. So that part's like a little bit intense, but it was like still sunny, but like kind of more overcast. So like it wasn't like intensely sunny or super hot or uncomfortable or anything like that, which is also partially why I planned this trip for September because I was hoping the weather would be a little bit more mild, which it was. And it was so nice at the beach. That was actually Cole's first time ever going to, well, we have like kind of beaches sort of near us, but his first like beach at the ocean, that was Cole's first time like going in the ocean water and like playing in the sand at the beach and stuff. So that was really cool and really special. We got so many good pictures. There's actually a really sweet family that was kind of set up like a little bit behind us and they were kind of getting there the same time as us. And it was a woman kind of my age and then her parents. <laughs> and it was so funny the second that we like started setting our stuff up, she came over with like a mallet to see if we needed that to put the umbrella in which we didn't it was like a twist one and then her mom came over <laughs> and so she's older she's like more of like a grandma age and she was like oh my gosh i'll play with the baby while you set everything up so she was just like playing with cole which was so funny and then i realized for his beach toys they were all like kind of they were brand new so they were all kind of like strapped in to like the little bucket they came in with like zip ties and i was like oh my gosh i freaking forgot scissors so these toys are all stuck in here and the grandma heard me she's like my daughter has scissors and she's like oh my gosh i have scissors <laughs> so she came over with the scissors which she's like so prepared she's like i used to be like a camp counselor i come prepared for things and then her dad the other grandpa they were all just like very like into cole and actually like offering to take pictures she was like oh my gosh can i like take a picture of you guys for you because like can was taking some pictures of me and Cole she was like I'll take a picture of all of you I was like that would be amazing thank you and so they were all just really sweet and then the dad because why he's like can you tell we don't have grandkids yet <laughs> it was so funny they were all just so so sweet just like so offering to like help out and so complimentary and actually everyone down here has been I mean everyone in the south I feel like is generally very friendly but like even more so here like when we had Cole in the water we were like walking back to our like blanket and our setup and there was like this older couple that were just like oh my gosh he is so cute what's his name oh my gosh he looks like he's having so much fun he was waving to his dad because Cam went out swimming so Cole and I were like waving to him and just like starting up a conversation we chatted with them for a little bit like everywhere we go when we were walking around that little shopping center yesterday after dinner everyone kept like stopping and like saying hi to Cole and there was like a lot of other babies in strollers and stuff so other like people with strollers would like stop their stroller next to Cole and like introduce the babies to each other and like everyone down here probably a lot of people do live here but I also assume a lot of people are here on vacation so everyone is just like so sweet and like in a great mood and so friendly I feel like we've like chatted with so many people like strangers you know more so here in the last like two days than we ever do like back at home <laughs> I just feel like everyone here is so social and so sweet and it's just like so fun doing stuff with the baby because I feel like it just makes everything more fun but also kind of gives you like other people to engage with because a lot of other people have babies or they just think babies are so cute so we just had like a really good time it's like good vibes good energy down here Cole was a little bit off schedule yesterday because his first nap was so long and then his second nap ended up being kind of later and he took a little while to go down for that so he ended up going to bed a little later than normal i think he went to bed closer to eight which normally he goes to bed at like seven which i feel like is obviously no big deal but the whole day got like kind of shifted a little bit weird and then we kind of had a situation at dinner not really a situation it was really good there but we like didn't have a server <laughs> like nobody really knew who was like taking care of us so we kind of like dinner got dragged out a little longer than it probably needed to due to that reason but we had a really really fun day we're hoping the weather holds off again today like in terms of the rain and we can get a nice like mild day again because like honestly i had to like wear my sweatshirt yesterday 
and so did cold. It was almost a little chilly for part of the day, which honestly I'm like not mad about. I kind of enjoy that. So anyway, that's kind of like a little bit of like what ended up happening yesterday that I feel like I didn't ever really talk about. We are loving it here. It is, I mean, as you can obviously tell from the footage, it is just, it's very green. There's so much trees and plants and it's just so pretty and quaint and like everything down here is just super cute. So we are loving it. Ken's like obsessed. He's like, we need to like get a beach house or something down here, which yeah, that'd be great. But it's a little far. It was like, oh, over four hours to get here so I mean we stopped a lot so that's obviously part of it but it's a little bit far I feel like driving I wish it could be like two and a half hours maybe three but it is really 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 beautiful here we're having so much fun and don't get me wrong I love the beach so much but like I need to do laundry because so much of our stuff is just like not even just sandy it's like the wet sand like that's just kind of like clumpy and just kind of smears on everything it's not the kind of sand you can just like shake off i was telling ken that yesterday i was like i freaking love the beach i really wish we lived closer to the ocean because i love it and then yesterday after we i said that when we like first walked to the beach in the morning and then when we like were actually at the beach and we were like setting up and then breaking everything down and getting ready to come back here and then having to like get all the sand off of cole and off of me and then there's just sand everywhere and there's sand in the car we didn't drive we walked but we had to put the stroller back in the car and like just like the stuff that we brought with us the beach bags and stuff and then coming up here and having sand everywhere in the bathtub having to clean the bathtub out sweep the floors and i was like okay maybe this is why <laughs> we don't live near the beach or like i don't know i feel like if you were to live at the beach it like seems like it'd be really great and then you do it especially with a baby and you realize how messy it is and just how long it takes to like set yourself up at the beach and then break everything down from your setup at the beach and then coming back and having sand just like everywhere like the setup the cleanup it's kind of a lot <laughs> so i'm like okay wait i do really like the beach but i feel like i like the beach to so just kind of like walk on and look at and maybe like sit and read but like to actually set up you know a whole entire situation with like an umbrella and chairs and a blanket and toys and then break it all down and then like if you actually swim and go in the ocean your bathing suit's all gross you're all gross your shoes everything you just have sand on it like maybe the beach is like not that it's like not worth the hassle but like it's kind of it's a lot say good morning <laughs> why are you making a grouchy face now he either got like sunburned or something right under this eye. He's got like a little something. Yeah. Were we doing tiku 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 tiku? Were we doing tiku 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 tiku? Tik 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 We're going to breakfast, and we're going to get some yummy breakfast. Ooh, yummy. Oh. <laughs> He's like, who put that there? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to share that much. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Aw, it's so sweet. <laughs> You're good shit sharing, Coley. <laughs> Okay, so this is funny. So this is if you were blind, how would you ask for these things? If you are blind, how would you ask for a drink? Yeah. Okay. If you were blind, how would you ask for food? For food? Okay. No, you go like this. If you're okay. That's the universal sign. How would you ask for a pencil? How would you ask for a pencil? <laughs> okay. I asked if you were blind, not deaf. So <laughs> 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 you asked. <laughs> If you had just done it to me without me having seen the video beforehand, I think I would. Because I was just doing what he was doing, because I was assuming something weird would happen. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're blind. Come on, you busted. Identification. <laughs> Sleepy. Go. Cool. 
suggested doing this it didn't even really occur to me but I've honestly just been like reading during Cole's naps while we're here since that's the beauty of vacation I don't have like a bunch of other you know work or house stuff or errands or anything to do while he's napping so I've been indulging in that and just enjoying my book which I'm really loving and I've been like churning through it but I was telling Ken how much I just like love like we we're talking about like retirement how I feel like down here would be a nice place to retire and I would love to just be able to just like go to the beach with a book in the mornings and just like sit and hang out and just like read on the beach like not necessarily like swim and like do the whole beach thing but honestly just like read a book there he's like why don't you go do that while Cole's napping and I'm like that's a good question why don't I do that <laughs> while Cole's napping I mean I don't really love that I'm like walking there by myself not that I like don't feel safe or anything but I just you know we're not from around here so I don't like love that I'm doing it by myself but the beach is very close it's literally two blocks so it's a very like quick easy walk and honestly there's like plenty of cars and people on like bikes and stuff around here tons of residences so it's not like it's isolated or anything so I feel perfectly safe it just really never like occurred to me to go do this by myself so I'm getting in a nice little walk and I have my chair, my blanket, or like towel, my book, my water. We actually just grabbed some Dunkin'. Well, Ken got a coffee at that cute little place that I showed. I wanted a Dunkin' pumpkin spice, like that's just what I was in the mood for. So I got an extra large coffee, and I was so excited to drink it, but then I was like, I don't really wanna like bring a gigantic hot coffee to the beach as much as I would love to just like sit and sip on that right now. I didn't really wanna walk <laughs> to the beach with a huge, 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 super hot coffee as nice as that would be. So I'm looking forward to enjoying that when we get back. But yeah, I'm excited for a little me time, some some mom time off, some MTO on the beach with my book. showered, got changed, kind of put my hair back, and Ken just ran out to grab lunch. Mm. I've been like dreaming about this. You see this? Like I said, I got an extra large. <laughs> this is ginormous and it's still literally like completely full. I've just been dreaming about <laughs> coming back here and getting that. Oh, and like I said, we stopped at um, a coffee place. I think I said that. After breakfast, um, Ken grabbed a coffee to just like kind of have as we walked around the beach. And he got like a mocha latte, something like that. He said it was really good. But they had this pumpkin, pumpkin cinnamon bread pudding. Pum pumpkin cinnamon bread pudding, something like that. But it's got like a cream cheese frosting on it. And I just took a little nibble of it. <laughs> And it is so good. It's like I love bread pudding, but it's like a perfect blend of like pumpkin and cinnamon So good. So we're probably gonna save that for dessert or like a little snack later or something like that But Ken is grabbing lunch. I'm gonna sit here with my gigantic coffee and Read some more of my book. Cole is still sleeping He's been taking really really good naps here, which is like shocking because he kind of like <laughs> Hated the pack and play and when we first got here He was kind of having a hard time going down in it and I was like are we gonna have a whole entire situation like last time But it's literally the opposite. He's been taking better naps here than he does at home So I don't know 
what that's about. I wish he would nap like this at home when I like, I mean, I'm loving that it's happening here. I'm just gonna put you down for a second. Um, so that I can obviously get a bunch of time just to like kind of relax. And I'm glad that he's getting good sleep. But at the same time, I wish he would nap like this at home. I mean, he naps well at home too, but not for this long. And it'd be kind of nice at home to get really, really long naps like this so I could get a bunch of stuff done. But anyway, um, while we were out, I picked up one more um, kind of souvenir type thing. As y'all saw earlier, we went to Salty Dog and actually um, I have a keychain collection that I've had since I was young, not like since I was a baby, but pretty young. My dad like gave me that idea and I started collecting keychains from everywhere I went. I don't know, probably when I was like eight or something like that, I don't know. And then eventually I stopped, but I still have all of them. And I thought it'd be fun to continue that tradition with Cole. So literally everywhere we've been since he's been alive, we've gotten him a little keychain. I've probably mentioned this in like other travel vlogs. So we got him a Hilton head one. Of course, we just get something like super simple. It's obviously not really meant to be anything other than like a little memory sort of thing. So we have to always make sure we get him one of those. And then I wanted to get a sweatshirt. So I just got this. Uh, a size large it's just like gray one and it's like embroidered i like this one just because it's like a really nice kind of like darker gray i don't have a lot of sweatshirts in like this color gray and i liked how it was black but it still had like the cute little like emblem but it was like pretty simple and neutral and i got like a really big size so it's like nice and oversized and cozy i mean i'll take any excuse to get a new crew neck sweatshirt of course so anyway i'm gonna sit with my coffee and my book say that again not the most moist basket. <laughs> um, Ken was a superhero, and the Publix where we got that Bud Light hard seltzer was literally right next to the lunch spot. I always have everything, by the way, everywhere we go, a link listed like down below in the description box of our travel vlogs. I always list all the places we ate, just so y'all can reference them, we can reference them in the future, etc. But it was right next to um, the Publix, and I wanted him to stock up on these because I don't know if they have these in North Carolina. I've never seen them, and I figured rather than like going on the hunt for them, we might as well just grab a couple of them to bring back with us and they're so good like I'm literally obsessed so I wanted to make sure we like stocked up to have a bunch to bring home so now we do <laughs> I know now it's getting annoying let's see oh look at that fresh comb over that blowout look at go. <laughs> Birdies, they go tweet, tweet, tweet. More wildlife sightings. <laughs> Start whining as soon as you see the camera. <laughs> no, from your drink. I just got the first brain freeze I've had. I feel like I was like a child, and that really hurt. Like I feel like that hurts way more than I remember hurting. Um, I really just needed a McDonald's Diet Coke, like so bad. Ken got like a strawberry watermelon slushie, which is what gave me the brain freeze. It was really good, but that like legitimately hurt. 
Oh, and by the way, this is what I got at that bougie little bakery. It's a salted caramel tart. It's got like cream and I don't know, it looks so good. All right, Ken just grabbed a salad for me. A little fried chicken sandwich for him. Cole is still freaking sleeping. <laughs> I gotta go wake him up. I finally got the sleepy head up. And we're having some dinner. It's cute. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? <laughs> Cool, huh? Alright, so we got both of the sours. This is the Tropological, and that's the Caught in the Rain. Pina Colada. Okay, yeah, I was right. Like, yeah. A, a it's very pineapple y and coconut, so yeah, okay, that's perfect. That explains why I like that one more, because I love, like the Smirnoff we got, I love pineapple and coconut. So I really like that one. He likes this one because it's a little bit, it's a lot like his favorite beer, the Sunny Monkey. He likes them both a lot. What are you rating them? I give this at 4.5, which is like reserved for. <laughs> because 5 Sunny. doesn't exist. Anything that is, like, comes close to a well, what is Sunny Monkey 4.5? Will have to be higher. I think it is. So is this in the same? It's wow. Like, it's either 475, 475, wow. 4.5, but I basically say this is a kind of Sunny Monkey. You put two of these, this next to a Sunny Monkey, I'd be like. Yeah. yeah what about that one? Get into the four. I mean, it's it tastes like you're not get a lot. It tastes very similar. It, would, it tastes like a beer, though. Yeah, just slightly, but it's still. I'm not crazy about. Oh, it's beer. super sweet and like you can really taste the flavors of like the pineapple. I'm done. I'm done. I like it a lot. Coley, which one's your personal fave? With do you have a black one? <laughs> oh, you like the chair the best? Okay, makes sense. Would you like some more of your snack? Look for a brew of sours for Ken because that's his favorite. Like, oh, he can stand up on this chair on me, and that's why he's doing that. Stinker! He's trying to get this cracker off his hand, but it's like stuck. <laughs> oh no! Oh, casualty. All right, we're eating this. Um, we just had our bread pudding, and now we're having the um, from that bougie bakery, the salted caramel tart. It's nuts. It's like insanely good. This is so good. I got it because I do a weekend's jam, and it was. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. So sweet. Do I have food on my face? You do now. Good morning. Oh gosh, this is so foggy because it's so humid. It's literally, what time even is it? It's like barely seven o'clock. We are out here. On a little walk with the fam, trying to get you guys in the frame. Cole just like got up pretty early and didn't really seem to want to go back to sleep. And honestly, we like need to make sure that we check out on time and everything. So I also didn't like really want him to go back to sleep either because I was afraid he would sleep too late and then it would push off breakfast and everything. So I was like, you know, we're just gonna have an early morning. So we're out here walking to a golf course that Ken has been wanting to check out. So we're gonna get our steps in. We typically take like really long, like two mile walks every single day, but it's been hard to get our long walks in here just because of timing and location and stuff like that. But we have some, a little bit of extra time this morning and there's a lot of golf courses that Ken's been drooling over. all packed up this guy's having some breakfast dad's loading the car <laughs> yeah. it's so funny like little booty belly <laughs> this kid is not ready to leave he wants to stay and play no no no, no. we're cleaning up he just wants to stay and play with all the toys uh oh do you hear that other baby there's a baby crying, Cole, did you hear him? He's got the cutest little outfit. He's got like little Nike basketball shorts, just like Ken, and a little tie-dye onesie. You ready to go bye-bye? All right, let's go. All right, we gotta put these away. 
No, no, no. We gotta clean up, honey. Okay. Have I shown these shoes in this wall yet? Because I'm kind of obsessed with these. All right, we gotta go. Nope. <laughs> Thought you were putting it away. Wow, look how cute. <laughs> I don't want your secret dead day. <laughs> Whoa. Dude. <laughs> uh, Try to give you a napkin and you said, no thank you. Uh oh. <laughs> There's Kali. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> I gotta keep Cole awake for like 10 minutes. <laughs> he literally wants to fall asleep so bad. He can't fall asleep before I go. Bless you. We have one more stop to make. Bless you, and I don't <laughs> want him to fall asleep for like two minutes and then get woken up. So we gotta stay awake. A bouncy, bouncy, mwah. A bouncy, bouncy, mwah. Really jigger. Dang, sleep. Oh, you're just so sleepy, baby. Okay, let's go. I just finished my book. It was pretty good. Not like my favorite or anything, but it was good. All right, we are home. We've actually been home for a little while, as you can maybe tell. I've actually gotten a lot done since we've been home. Frankly, it took us, uh, honestly, it felt like forever to get home. There was some rain and a little bit of traffic and Cole like would not really nap. It usually like does nap okay in the car, like for longer trips. I think I mentioned he napped so well on like the actual vacation on the car ride. Literally not at all. He slept for like 40 minutes and then like literally 15. He's never taken a nap at a short. That's not even like a nap. I don't even know what happened. And then we got home around like 3.30. So I put him down just to like take like a quick like half hour like cat nap and he wouldn't do it. Like I left him for a little bit. He was just like hanging out. Ken went and rocked him, put him back down, just hanging out. So he literally napped for like less than an hour cumulatively today, which honestly, even though obviously he should be sleeping more than that, he's always in like good spirits and in a good mood. He very rarely like acts cranky or overtired for the most part. So when we got home and like after I took him out of the crib, like after he would nap he was like eating dinner just fine and like playing in like perfectly good spirits he wasn't like cranky or anything but he did fall asleep like the second i put him down at like i put him down a little early and by the time i like turned on the monitor he was already asleep so he was definitely super super tired i think just from not sleeping and the drive and everything like that so that happened and honestly i like hustled once we got home like we got home and i literally put him down pretty much right away to hopefully like sneak a nap in that obviously didn't happen but then i got my workout in right away which was great since i took three rest days this week which i typically only do two and they're not like back to back so that was like the most rest from working out obviously we were like active and we walked a couple miles each day and stuff like that but that was like the longest i've taken without like a proper workout in like a long time like probably six months or more it was definitely nice to take like some extra rest and i think my body could definitely use it but i was definitely ready to get back to working out so we got home and literally within like 15 minutes of being home i started to work out got a 40 minute workout in and then it got cold up because his nap was just not happening and i unpacked literally everything i unpacked all the suitcases like cold stuff our stuff like the food and stuff i unpacked literally everything like the suitcases are put away everything is like put away like you wouldn't even know we were on a trip if you walked in my house right now and then i took a shower i washed my hair because my hair really needed washing i mopped the floors upstairs because that just like really needed to be done 
and I'm just like opening a ton of mail. I don't know if y'all are like me, but when I get home from a trip, I have so many like boxes and packages and things to open. So I'm just kind of doing that right now. But we literally got this house like completely turned around. I made like a really quick like dinner. Yeah, I've gotten a lot done, honestly, since we've been home. Like I squeezed in a workout, did all the unpacking, put everything away, made dinner, cleaned, showered. Like I'm feeling good. It, for me, that's just like, even though it might seem like a lot to do when you get home from a trip, for me, that's like so necessary because now I know like tomorrow when I wake up, I don't have a whole bunch of stuff to do. It can just be like a normal day. I don't have to worry about unpacking and like dreading all the stuff that I just did. Like I would be <laughs> having to do all that tomorrow, but instead it's just done and out of the way. So I can just have like a normal day tomorrow and not feel like the like cleanup from a trip is like lingering, if you know what I mean. So anyway, we are very excited to be home as much as we love trips of course there's just nothing like being home being back with the cats and all of that but i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog here we had such a great time we love hilton head i keep like telling ken that that's like where we need to retire to because it's just so green so pretty everyone's so freaking nice i'm sure we obviously went during the off season so i'm sure it's probably different like during the dead of summer i would imagine like probably living there maybe is actually kind of annoying if there's like a lot of tourists i don't know we went and it didn't seem very busy like the beach wasn't like very packed restaurants weren't like very packed so i think we chose a good time to go that's honestly why i booked it this way but i can imagine it would probably be a different experience maybe if we went a different time of year but it was amazing we had so much good food like i said i always list all of the places we ate and stuff like that down below if you guys want to check it out all the food we ate was so good and it was just such a good time like getting to take cole into the ocean for his first time and honestly he's just i was telling ken this in the car like he's just the easiest baby to do anything like we've never had to not do something or been afraid to do something because he might like be cranky or we might have to like leave because he's like i don't know he's just like doesn't cry doesn't fuss like at restaurants like in the car like no matter what we do he's just like down for it and he's very easy to do stuff with which is such a blessing for us because it just makes going on trips like not a stressful thing at all it's just like purely so fun for us so we love that and we had such a great time so i hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog i love getting to like document all of it for ourselves but also for y'all so thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed if you would like to subscribe we'd love to have you we have so much fun here and until next time i will see y'all in the next video bye guys Oh, <laughs>